education system we've come up with is based on teaching your coaches through the ages at which the children develop through to adulthood. So the concept is that you can't teach 11 year olds until you know how to teach 8 year olds. The idea is two strengths, is the idea of education and performance. Performance does not need to be elite performance, but can be skill performance at that level. At each stage, and at the moment the age groups are arbitrary, they've gone 5 to 8, 8 to 11, and take to 3 year gaps, commensurate with general development of children. In each level, the coaches will learn psychology, development, physiology, skill acquisition, learning style, teaching styles, planning and execution of lessons that is appropriate with that age group, regardless of the technical skills being taught. And then you'll progress, once you can teach 5 to 8 year olds, you can then do 8 to 11 year olds. The concept being, if you get a 9 year old to come in, who have a skill deficit, because they didn't do something development, developmentally at this age, you know how to go fill it. It is based on the key age group you're teaching, not on the skill level that your, your pupils are learning at. So you get a 12 year old being taught, they come in at a 12 year old, and their learning style may be different to an 8 year old, but if they've not learnt something physically, you know what they've missed. The idea is then that you pull the coaches through the system, so by the time you get to someone coaching performance level at 23, or 20 year olds, or 17 year olds, they have an idea of what should have been achieved lower down. Um, that's the basic concept, it'll cost you 12 million quid glance if you can start the course on Friday. Excellent. If I missed anything. You can start now. Questions? No, no, no. Ah, yes, oh, right, the, 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 the overlaps. Because we had an education and performance strain, you could move up one level here, but if you were teaching performance at um, 11 to 14 year olds and wanted to go back to doing a more education based, but you hadn't got this, you had to come down and build back up. But there are areas that are common to each, and these, this overlap here are the bits that most people are referring to as intrinsically in judo. So, for instance, the idea of ethics and discipline fits in both areas. It's not necessarily taught, but how you instill discipline in 5 to 8 year olds is very different to how you instill it in 17 to 23 year olds. And it's about having techniques that are appropriate to the age group being coached. The idea being that rather than saying to everyone, this is how you teach Tai Toshi, or this is strength and conditioning, you're saying, this is strength and conditioning for a 14 year old, subject to their anatomical growth and where they'll be on this chart. And because of the differences in ages, and development, this is where these overlaps occur. And that'll go right the way up. Yeah? Anything else, rest? No, no. no? Okay. Three minutes.